Hey guys! It's Chris again. I will be... This is part two. I will not... I don't know why I said I will be. This is part two of Redstone Schmetstone. Today I'll be wrapping up the basics, going into intermediate, and well, it's an introduction to intermediate redstone circuitry. So that's exciting as heck. So alright, let's wrap up basics. We left off right here with the, um, 16 whatever, um, the, was it, the limit of redstone? So, I will be continuing the tutorial. So now, moving on, redstone, um, the block that is powered, the source of the power, um, powers all blocks adjacent. So, this piston right here is adjacent to this lever. So, if I power the lever, BAM! It works. So now, theoretically, all adjacent blocks should also power it. Like so. These are all adjacent to it. So, mm, it works. As you can see. And it's all fine and dandy. Moving on. Um, levers, or other things such as buttons, when attached to a block, like this, the powered block will send the current through to any adjacent blocks. So, that will work, and this will work. Because when on the on the on state, this block is powered, quote unquote, and sends the power to a directly touching adjacent block, which is this piston. So this should work as well, which it does. And that's awesome. Alright. Also, the powered block, quote unquote, as I've said before, as I said, it will power anything adjacent to it, and it will power wire, which, because it is adjacent to this power block, and send the current, so this piston should go up, which it does. And it also powers this, which is also adjacent to it. We can do that. Another thing that you have to remember when using pistons in your contraptions, one second, is that you can't just power the block right next to it like this. If it's directly adjacent to it like this, it won't work. And that sucks! You will be tearing your hair out of your head, trying to figure out why this is not working. Which is why you are watching this awesome tutorial. It will teach you why it's not work. Now, to get around this, you, have to, you can power the block above it, like this. So, kabam, it works. And that's all awesome and dandy. Same applies to doors, which is a block that can be powered by redstone. Won't work, because this is right next to it. Ugh, does not work. Moving on. Redstone blocks, the source of redstone power, like I said, powers all adjacent blocks. But this is more in-depth. All these lime green wool blocks represent blocks that will be powered when I turn this lever on. Now, you can't see it, which is obvious, but I, I will be demonstrating. So this green block right here should be powered. So if I get rid of it, put a redstone in its stead, hmm, it works. Should work for this one too, because it's green. Hmm, it works. This one too. And this one. And this one. Etc. Etc. That's cool. Moving on, we also have, as I said, when redstone is into this powered block, quote unquote, it powers anything adjacent to it. So, that works. However, redstone currents will not go through solid blocks like this. So, won't work. How many, ever, however many times I click this thing, it won't work. I will cry myself to sleep in my corner. <sighs> so you do have to do this the proper way. Always keep this in mind. There's also something called inverters, but we will be getting into that later. Now, moving on. Um, I will be introducing repeaters to you right here, right now. Repeaters do get complex, but I'm just going to teach you the basics right here. Now, as we said, the redstone will travel 15 blocks. This current is 16, so this sad little piston right there is not powered. Again, no matter how many times. However, if you place a repeater on the 15th block or less, or is it 16th block? Yeah, 16th block or less, 
it will extend it and renew the limit back to another 15 blocks. So this should go on for another 15 blocks of wire. But I got lazy, so I only placed like 7. So, normally this piston would not be powered if this repeater was not here, but I put one there, so obviously it would work. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this tutorial. See? Look over there. It works. Now, another thing you have to keep in mind is rest and repeaters will only go in the direction that it is placed in. So you see this little indent of an arrow in the repeater? It will only go in that direction. Right there! So, put this repeater right here, it won't work. Because this redstone wire is going this way, and, it, and this repeater is all like, No, bitch, I'm not going to let you go this way. So, put it right here. Everyone's all happy and everything is awesome. So remember that, fellas, when you're using redstone repeaters, alright? Now I will be getting into also buttons and redstone ticks. Now redstone ticks is the interval of time that redstone repeaters take for um, a current to go through them. So this is one tick, which is default, like this. See? One tick. You can right-click the repeater to extend the time. So, dang it, one tick, two ticks, three ticks, and four. So, press this button. It'll go, it should go the fastest. Oh, this was not supposed to be here. Dang it, fail. But yeah, this is four ticks, three ticks, two ticks, and one tick. Now, you can't really tell the difference, but this one is supposed to go the fastest. Since you can't tell, oh come on! Stupid rain. I'm raining on my parade right here. Go oh, away. Hey. Thank you. Oh, people these days. Okay. <laughs> people. Alright, so I placed another redstone current right here. So, this is here to prove to you that this piston will go up first because it's on the lowest tick setting, which means it will go the fastest. So as you can see, this one should go, go last, second to last, first to last, and this one should go first. Kabam! I was right. So yeah guys, that is the intro to redstone repeaters. I will be getting into intermediate redstone circuitry in my next tutorial, part 3 of redstone stone. And if you guys like this video, and you guys learned something, please share it, like it, comment on it, Put your little smiley faces in the comments, like the comments, uh, sh favorite it, and watch it over and over, because it really helps out, guys, and makes me love your faces. And so, I will see you guys in part three. If you do want to be notified of my tutorial series and etc. videos, let's plays, please hit the subscribe button in this corner right- oh, I can't look over there. Cause, dang it. Okay, well anyway, you guys know what the subscribe button is. So, if you want to, please press that. I will love you forever. And I will see you guys in part three. See you later.